FPSO Abigail Joseph arrived in Keppel Benoist Shipyard on the 28th of July 2019. By the time the vessel is ready to depart, it will be the fastest redeployment project in both Keppel and Jensen's history. This project is extremely unique within Jensen due to the fact that it's our first major uh, redeployment vessel that we've carried out. We had no metrics of, uh, to lean on for how the project would be set up. So we had to bring in a brand new team, uh, never having done this work before together. And the, one of the ways that we uh, accomplished this was through communication. We decided, project management team decided very early on, that we had to have much higher levels of communication on this project than we normally would see on a two-year, three-year conversion project. And to allow us to do that, we decided that we would have a PMT meeting every single day. That we got to know each other, we got to know our strengths and our weaknesses, but we also got to talk about the job every single day. And I believe that, that uh, there's many, many factors that make this project a success, but I think that's one of the key factors. Um, the FPSO Abigail Joseph will be deployed um, in the Anyela Madu field, which is located south-south in Nigeria. So that's 50,000 barrels added to our daily production back home. And also, um, it's an employment opportunity for a lot of people. First EMP, you know, the, uh, the, put, the operators of Abigail Joseph field have employed over 100 and 50 personnel. So the project is really, really important to Nigeria in terms of economy and in terms of employment opportunity for her people. This project was never going to be about lifting thousands of tons of new modules or replacing thousands of tons of diminished steel. It was always going to be about people. People coming together to redeploy one of our existing fleet from one field in Gabon to another field in Nigeria in less than 12 months. We walked around the world with our Step to Nigeria program. We invited Santa from Nigeria to share our secret Santa and Christmas lunch with all our project and operations teams. We brought our kids and partners into our team to do some environmental good, planting trees in Singapore. We clubbed together with money and possessions to help those in trouble in the Philippine Islands during a recent disaster. We had parties on the beach and we had Dancing with the Stars, including not just one, but two James Bonds. I am especially proud to have worked with every single man and woman on our team and truly value the contribution that each one has made every single day to drive and deliver this project. Uh, the main challenge for procurement on Abigail Joseph was that there were a lot of obsolete items and suppliers were out of market. Uh, but we managed to pull through and found alternatives, um, so of course we are glad that it was a success. Even though the project duration was brief, I think every individual has exhibited Jensen's core values of being reliable, open, adaptive, decisive and sustainable. I would like to wish all the engineers the best as they embark on their next journey. I would like to thank my Abigail Joseph procurement team and I wish them all the best uh, for their upcoming projects. Ah, what? <laughs> this my name. My name is Natada Adiru, people calling me Fai. Um, my job scope here is CMS lead, which is completion management system taking care of the database and all handover documents. I've been working with Jinson Production for two projects already. My day starts at 7. Normally I would just clearing my desk, then checking email in the morning, then start working with my database. Uh, the guy from the vessel will submitting me the inspection sheet, then we processing it. At the end of the day, we report the progress to planner. Actually, my dream is to open a restaurant I, I, because I like to cook. So I try my Thai recipe and cook it, share it with my friend in the office. One of my favorite dish to cook is tom yam because it's authentic, easy to cook and healthy. My colleagues all enjoy it.
Chris. I came from Poland. I have 35 years old. I am senior steam technical engineer on Abigail Joseph. I am happy to work with my colleagues in Eason and the time which I spend in Singapore. As a senior steam technical engineer, my job is to keeping the boilers and turbo generators in good condition. Because of short uh, project Abigail Joseph, it is our challenging to, to complete all of the tasks according to schedule. I am very proud to work with people with different countries and different cultures to achieve the same target. My name is Terry. I'm from Myanmar. I'm a project controls manager for FASO Abigail Joseph. I have been working with Yinson about two years. Being a project controls manager, day to day I manage the budget cost for the entire project, such as shipyards, manpower, operation, procurement, and so on. FASO Abigail Joseph is a fast track project. Therefore, my support to project manager is critical as we need to make decisions in a timely manner and within the project budget and also delivering within the schedule. My hope for this project is to create new advanced templates uh, for project controls that can be used throughout all the future projects. Uh, during my free time, I like to practice karate and I'm doing it for 28 years. Uh, the reason I'm doing karate is karate can develop both mental and physical strength. I'm a seriously fan of all kinds of martial arts. So my childhood time, I was really inspired to Bruce Lee, and of course Bruce Lee is a kung fu. But however, it's a, all the martial arts are linked at each other. So this is the reason I chose karate for my childhood time. Then I found out karate can develop for both physical and mental strength. Uh, my name is Kemlo, um, I'm from Sweden and uh, I'm taking care of the existing uh, gas compression equipment on the island for the upgrade as well as the, the, the new gas compression equipment that we're installing on board. I've been in this industry for 12-13 years, I would say about eight, uh, eight different FPS of projects. What I think is unique about this project is the amount of work we have to do in uh, this short amount of time. And uh, in the industry, I think this is, uh, uh, is pretty unheard of to, to try to uh, upgrade and uh, redeploy an FPSO within six months. Which is tougher, this job or your interview right now? Oh, definitely this interview. In <laughs> here, we have the, flash, the new flash gas module, and right next to it is the uh, new uh, gas injection module. This is the new test separator package, and it's going to be ready in about three weeks and then uh, shipped out to be installed on um, Allen. And so to the next chapter for Abigail Joseph. The vessel will soon depart Singapore for its new home in Nigeria and on behalf of all of the project team, 
I wish our operations and FEP teams every success in operating this unit in the coming years.